Hello, everybody. This character more. Let's play, um, shit, uh, Dead Rising 2. Yeah. And I'm rescuing survivors because what else am I going to do? I really should have dropped them off while I was right there, you know? But, yeah, No big deal. I have my gloves. That's all I need, really. We're gonna take a trip to the Slot Ranch, because we're right here. Do I gotta beat some looter ass? I do. Give me a second here. Oh shit! Sorry, hon. <laughs> yeah, I kind of deserve that one. And you know that's what that was. What's going on? Dude, it's not even close to 7 a.m. and I have all the Zombrex in the game except for... No! I, I have all the Zombrex in the game. We're good. Come on, lady. Let's move it. Shit, I did a thing wrong. I did a thing that was wrong. I did a wrong thing. <sighs> Fuck. Of course I did a wrong thing. I do wrong things all the time in Let's Plays. Yeah, I took a, took a bit of a break from the uh, last episode, you know. Watched a little TV, played some cave story, that kind of thing. Uh, you know what? You two stay right here. You go! You're fine. Relax. Sweet. Let's go uh, pay for my purchase. Thank you for the refund. Come along, ladies. Please don't make me get rid of the hat, because that means I have to go back to the safe house. <clears throat> so yeah, I've missed a couple people. I'll probably make a special bonus video in the future about them, but for now, fuck it. Don't care. Alright, first things first, we're gonna take my friends here and put them back Over here where they there. can cause no trouble. No trouble at all. To find this charming lady a drink. Because, you know, as psychopaths go, she'd rather well behave. Ooh, money. Mind if I do. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. I need me some alcohol. Gimme. Some whiskey. Get this bitch drunk as shit. Hello, Miss Lady.
of course, Alice in here can tell me about the fireworks, which I already know, but... Yay, thanks. Come on, zombies. I was trying to play the slots they come to. Thumbs up. Come on. Come on, little hungry friends. Let's do this. Come on. We've got a show to do. This is kind of how things work at the Renaissance Festival, come to think of it. Kind of grabbing people from the from the uh, milling about crowds and bringing them in to see the show. much fun as I am having playing this, and I am having fun, I will be glad when I can put it back on the stack of games. No commentary here, because I'm trying to concentrate. Going upstairs. Almost done. I mean, I love me some rhythm games, but not in this context. Just doesn't quite function for me. Doesn't do it. Okay. Time to rescue the crazy lady. Only way I know how. Killing the shit out of a bunch of them. Jackson. In case you're wondering what I mean by Jack's style, uh, in Mortal Kombat 2, one of Jack's finishing moves was to rip people's arms off. Okay, where's the injured guy? You are. You're the injured guy. Come on, boys and girls, we're almost done. Do a quick lap. Give them time to do what they gotta do. Oh, you'll be fine. Quit being such babies. I'm gonna give the trophy to the other guy just because I'm sick of hearing him bitch. <laughs> Neither one of you are funny, and I've got money to spare, so I'll fucking buy him off. I don't even care about it anymore. All in all, it's going pretty damn well. Everybody inside. Everybody inside. See this? Right here. You go there. No, no, no. There we go. Perfect. 
No, I don't need a green dildo. Alright, you know what? Where's BB? She gets a green dildo. You can have a dildo. Peon. Mm, so tempted to give them all dildos. But no. It will not be worth it because I have to listen to your stupid fucking jokes. I should break that fucking trophy over both your hands. Oh god, if only you did kill you. Here, now stop your bitching. Go give my daughter some zombrex. And then I think I'm done. Fortunately, I don't have that stupid golf club mission, because this time I came prepared for it. What'd I do? What's that trophy for? I'm gonna check what that trophy's for. How many of these do I have? Uh, not many at all. <laughs> oh wow, that's what that's for. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother doing what I did on LEGO Jurassic World and get every single possible trophy. There's too much shit. Plus, there's some stuff I need to be online for. Fuck it. Like stuff from Terror is Reality and whatnot. Get in the fucking plaza, game! I guess this is the biggest crowd I've ever had. Because I didn't get a trophy for the last... Well, yeah, because there's eight over the seven that I had last time. But still. The biggest crowd I'm ever going to have in this playthrough. Because there's only like two more people after this. And I won't forget them this time. Because this time I will have time to spare. I'm not just going to fuck around and do weird stuff like I did last time. For some reason, this guy right here always vaguely reminds me of Obama. Maybe it's because I'm used to seeing him from the side and he's got that, you know, presidential look, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I covered pretty much everything that I covered last time. So that's good. I don't think I missed anybody that I got the first time through. I did miss a handful of um, secret survivors, but I didn't get those the first time anyway, so nothing lost there. And I gained several new survivors, so there's that. Killed a couple psychopaths that I missed the first time through. All in all, it's been a hell of a run. And if I weren't already max level, this would put me there. Oh, I don't even get a scene with them. Makes me kind of sad.
I'm just gonna do a thing real quick. Woohoo, 50 survivors, okay. We are gonna look real quick in the notebook here. He's coming up shortly. Not gonna get TK in this run, but that's okay. Who's that? Oh, he was the guy that Sven couldn't do. Okay, there's one. Meh? Yeah. Oh, those two guys. Okay. Two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight. So let's take a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's right. Nevada's on the list. So yeah. The eight people that I'm missing, well, technically the nine people I'm missing, are all accounted for. I'm missing, I haven't missed anybody that I could get, except for, again, a couple hidden survivors. And this time, two of them I'm going to get. I don't think there's anything special for getting everybody, but I tried. You know, I really tried. Can't fault me for that, right? Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Yeah, smooth. The hell is this? Oh, I'm guessing that's because uh, I rescued so many people. The hero of Fortune City. That's probably what that was. got a little bit of time to come up. I gave you the fucking trophy. Why are you crying? But yeah, I have a hell of a run. You look awfully traumatized for someone who gave a show. There may or may not be like one little side mission that I can still do before help arrives, but, um, just gonna look around this room, this is the wrong room, this is the right room, where's all of Katie's fucking toys, just gonna look at the room and just see all the toys that I got for Katie, that's bullshit. What, do they pack them all up so they'll fit in the military's vehicles or some shit? I'm going out and going back in, because I'm pissed. I got all those toys for her, and now they're gone. That's so stupid. Maybe I can bring them back to her. That might be a thing. I'm going to try and grab a toy for Katie. I don't think it's going to matter, but I don't care. Ah. Uh, that's a thing. Well, let me go and do that real quick. I should have just barely enough time to pull that off. Fortunately, I've done this quest before, and I know exactly where to go. Again, this little fulfillment bonus means nothing. I'm not going to save anybody new. I can't save anybody new. I know all nine people that I'm missing right now, and I know where they are. Well, I have an idea of where they are, but I can't really do anything about it. You know, it just shit happens. But, um... And PP does me nothing because I'm already max level. I'm just doing this because, again, I'm a nice guy. It's my job to look after these people, and goddammit, I'm gonna do it. Even if it's something, if it's something vital and important, like, oh god, I need my, uh, I need my Zombrex, dude. You saved my life. Give me Zombrex. Yeah, I can do that. Or if it's something 
kind of weird, like, oh, God, I lost my golf club. It's my whole life. I need my golf club. Sure. Or if it's something stupid, like, oh, my God, there's a rare plant here. I mean, I know we're not getting firebombed or anything, but the military is going to come in here. They're going to shoot the place up, and I know this rare plant is safely behind glass and all, but it's going to die. Seriously, this is a stupid quest. Because this is a quest that doesn't need to happen. Because this is not during the firebombing. This is the military coming in for what we think is going to be a surgical strike that just kills all the zombies. And that's it. They just kill zombies, not smash buildings and kill plants. And yet this woman is bound and determined to save this fucking plant. And she couldn't have done it an hour or three ago, you know, when I had the free time. No, she needs it now. Well, I feel sad that I miss those people, but fuck it, you know? I just want to point out how impossible this quest would be to do right now if I did not have that stupid shortcut. This would be the most impossible quest because I'd have to run all the way to Palisades and back, which is across the whole plaza thing. But because I stopped to do this, it was awesome. Uh, P. Colin Proton John fucked this up because they only had like seconds. And P. Cole finished the, uh, the Help Arrives mission as John was getting the dialogue, so they never got the credit for doing this. And if they had rescued the poor girl in the tanning booth, they'd have been fine. But then again, that was also P. Cole mostly just fucking around. Because John even asked him, was like, are we going to try and do the good ending, or are we just fucking around? He's like, yeah, we're going to we'll do a little bit of stuff, but we're mostly just fucking around. So they didn't get a fraction of the people that I got. And there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't think I was going to get a fraction of the people I got. And I was doing this solo. I didn't have a partner to goof off with and fuck around with. If I did, I probably wouldn't have done as well. Because we'd have been too busy fucking around. That being said, I seem to recall Sammy mentioning something about how she wanted someday to do Let's Plays. And if this is one game that she does, maybe I can jump in and back her up, because I would love to. I mean, hell, I'll even run uh, my screen alongside her so that she can double up. Here you go, Vicky. Here's your stupid fucking houseplant. Anyway, that's really stupid, but again, it's a nice thing. It makes her happy, and it didn't take me too far out of my way. But yeah, I think that's the last mission I can really get, because everything else is accounted for. Now, the best part about this whole thing is that um, I have a Zombrex for TK. See that Zombrex there? Or no, the other Zombrex for Katie. But say, I have a Zombrex that I could give to TK. But fuck him. I have the money to get a Zombrex for TK. I have the money to get enough Zombrex to get freaking Richard, Katie, and TK through the next two days. But he's not getting a drop. Unless something pops up, we're just gonna, we're just gonna run around here. 
gonna check up on everybody here. Play some plot. Shit, I won that? Yeah, these, as a rule, are not worth doing unless you have all three gambling books, in which point that becomes something like $1,500. Which you may realize is a lot more than what I was getting. Hello, naked people! <laughs> Bet you wish you didn't suck at poker. Hey, look, see this helmet? Goes real nice with this armor. Bet you wish you weren't naked. And again, he is a naked guy in a room full of a bunch of naked girls. At least one of whom is a dedicated party girl. And mostly drunk. Wait, which one is this? Oh, I've played that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent one to run on. Yeah, I don't really foresee anything uh, amazing happening in this thing until the end. But I've been wrong before. Could be wrong again. Who knows? Who cares? Best part is, because I have these, uh... I've noticed something. I've gone through a lot less weapons in this playthrough. Than I normally have. But yeah, since I go through so few weapons, I'm gonna have a lot of room for Super BFGs. And this time, Sullivan's ass. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna do TK again. Fuck it, we're doing TK again. I don't care. Of course, if we're gonna do TK, I'm gonna need to make a visit to the pawn shop. Sword, Roaring Thunder, Light Machine Gun. You need anything else? School. Don't know what else you got. Tenderizers, Servant Mask. Sports Car Key. Oh shit! I could actually afford that if I were inclined. Maybe next time. You know what? I might do that during the uh, end game chat just because I have the time now. Next hour. There's really no reason for me to even bother, but it gives me something to do. Play a little bit of slots. Now, if only I got to keep some of that fucking poker money. Or if I'd gotten in that poker game, I'd have the money. No, but I couldn't. I didn't time it right. I blew my my shot at it. The way I wanted to go. Yeah. Me uh, I'm on my eight ball. Now notice the difference in my payout. Yeah. 
Instead of 300, I get 600. I don't think I'm going to bother with it simply because it'll be for a later playthrough. I uh, mean, my later playthrough. They'll put it in in post. They'll put it in post. You're interfering with my gambling, boy. I don't appreciate that, man. out that is probably the worst way to kill zombies. It doesn't actually hit them in any of their vital areas. That is to say their brain. You know the only vital area they fucking have. Not like that did. Wow I got him good with that. Mm, that's enough fucking around. I'm not gonna bother with these because with rage zombies on the loose it's not exactly the smartest thing to do. Try to gamble. That is the worst time to grind for money. But anyway, the best part is, because I'm not just going to be randomly fucking around this time, I'll have all the time in the world to finish the mission, and then to find the other people. So that will be a cool thing. I do kind of wish that the beard of the Arthur outfit didn't come off when you die, but shit happened. Killer. Nice. Alright, are we just about done here? Yep, we are. See you next time.